tonight. As of this week, no one's got. No one's got money. Cash is running out. We're pretty screwed with the budget. It's just a nightmare, to be honest. And our teams are paying for it. We're just waiting for Mike and uh, Andy to get our money. We haven't been paid. This week, our four teams are heading for the rooftops. Up there, they'll be constructing an entertaining terrace with city views and a utility room, all in seven days, and up three flights of stairs. Every time I think that we've possibly done the worst of it, and they find another way of just, you know, making it even harder again. He's going to have to have a, a fair few different trades come in to do stuff, so, yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be hard that way. Trades cost money. That's a big problem. As of this week, no one's got... No one's got money anymore. We're pretty screwed with the budget. The winds are just dwindled away. We'd already pretty much had it spent, so just trades again are just going to eat into this week. I mean, it's just a nightmare, to be honest. For Mike and Andrew, the problem has become a crisis. Work can't begin this week until their tradies have been paid for last week. We're just waiting for Mike and uh, Andy to get our money. Yeah, for all the hours we're putting in, we're hoping to make some good money, but we haven't been paid. Now our team's prayers may be answered. This is St Peter and Paul's Church, and it lies directly across the road from the block. The parish priest is local hero Father Bob Maguire. And for the past 38 years, he's been providing help for the needy. Today, Shelley has a challenge that gives our teams a chance to give back to their local community and a chance to help out their fragile renovation budgets as well. Now, I know you've all settled in very comfortably to your new surrounds, the leafy suburb of South Melbourne. So today, I thought I would introduce you to one of its finest exports, Father Bob. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Shelley, and good morning, comrades. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we are about to enter into a joint venture. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Father Bob was all kitted up in his uh, father gear, so he, um, he's a funny character, Father Bob. Your challenge today is to gather donations. Enough quality items and services to be put to auction at a special block charity auction tomorrow night. Great, cool, cool. And not only that, but you will be the ones up on stage <laughs> vlogging your items. Oh my god. <laughs> to some hungry bidders driving a hard bargain. <laughs> it was a bit uh, daunting when we found out that we'd actually be personally auctioning off the items. I don't think. Uh, Either of us is probably that comfortable in front of a, an audience. Today you will be working in teams. It's odds and evens, so houses one and three to houses two and four. Dale and Soph joined besties Brad and Lara in team one. And the brothers hook up with Dan and Danny to make team two. We're teamed up with the brothers today, so um, hopefully Mike and Drew have some hard negotiating skills they can yeah. bring out of the woodwork today. So the pressure is on because the team that raises the most amount of money at auction tomorrow night for charity will share $5,000 in cash. $2,500 each if we um, took it home with Brad and Larsie. Yeah, a bit of a double incentive. We like to see those guys go all right too, so it's a happy little team today. I'll be giving you some currency to play with. Let me introduce you to the solid, hand-cast, block-embossed garden nerd. <laughs> nice. There are only 40 of these little beauties in existence. Oh, wow. <laughs> the names are really cool, actually. Yeah. I was um, eyeing one off for myself, to be honest. Yeah, then we got the whole gang together out the front of the house all lined up. Gave them a little pep talk. Righto, guys, look sharp. We've got a big day today. Got to get out there and uh, 
You all got to look your best so you can um, make heaps of money. Straighten up on the end there, mate. Can't have slackers. Okay. If the teams are going to maximise their booty, they'll have to smooth talk 20 retailers by close of business today. Yeah, yeah so we found our 10 gnomes. Yeah. I think the boys have found their 10 gnomes as well. So we're going to make a quick list on who we should get for, um, on board with us. Just put airlines down, just for the sake of it. Because you never know, if I go into Flight Centre, they might be able to contact airlines direct and get something. Andy. I'll hit Ferrari up, just get a Ferrari. Yeah, for a gnome, that should be fine. Yeah, yeah look Maybe good get two. All right, all right, come on, next one. <laughs> Straight away, we put our heads together. We all had pretty good ideas, we thought, from the start. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Dan and Danny are very competitive, much the same as us, and we thought we'd have a good crack at it. Suzuki, yeah. Suzuki. Suzuki. Do it now before the others do it. And let's try and get some kind of... Suzuki something. A Swift. I reckon let's go so that... Danny, just... Yeah, but I'm worried the others will go to some of these places. I can take a photo and we can go. If we think of more, just text each other. We're wasting too much time. Oh. It's already lunchtime, pretty much. We've got heaps there. Good. We'll take Herman and Herman and Mezai and the flight Just chill out for five minutes. Dan, we don't have five minutes. Oh, God, you're me off. I'd rather go with one of the boys, I think. Coming up, the Lord giveth. Success. And the Lord taketh away. Out for a dark. Hopeless, they are. In a charity challenge raising money for the block's holy neighbours, our teams are on a mission from God. I think we should, in fact, say a few words over these four guys. We uh, hereby dedicate them as the angels of our better nature. Oh, Isn't work. that nice? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just increase the value then. <laughs> 40 solid aluminium gnomes are in fact priceless. And now the guys have to spread the word. Welcome, guys. So these are our little uh, one in 40 garden gnomes. They're uh, serious gnomes. Yeah, so you could chuck them in your front window and people would know you're a great bloke. Sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, great. Cool. Cool. All Let's right. go shopping. I'll just tell you everything we need. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We've got a great little chair in Ottoman from there. It's Eames chair. It's really recognised. No, replica. This mm. is the real deal. There's no mucking around here. Ooh. I feel like I want to part with a lot of money at auction when I sit in this thing. Team One's auction is off to a good start with a $5,000 armchair. He's definitely happy, not grumpy. Meanwhile, teammates Brad and Lara are playing to their strengths. Let's go to Jetmaster first. Last week, they bought a very expensive fireplace for their guest bedroom. We've got our Jetmaster gas fire. We think it'll be a good addition to the room. So their first stop is to call in a favour. Yeah, we thought we'd come here and see if we could wrangle something out of you guys. Well, my boss is away today, but I think that I can sneak around behind his back. And I think <laughs> we can... Success! We got a Jetmaster Heat and Glow worth about five grand, so good start. Yeah. After that warm up trade, Brad sets his sights on a major sponsor of the block, Suzuki. So we're just gonna, we just wanted to talk to you about maybe getting something, you know, for the auction. <laughs> Across town, Team Two's Mike and Andy have had exactly the same idea. Well, let's start with a two-wheel variety of a Suzuki and see what you say. Sure. Let, let, me, let me call you back. Well, let's wait and see. He's going to call me back. <laughs> that would charm everything. At the risk of causing an unholy row, Suzuki goes with the team that asked first. Well, I reckon we can do what about a kid to buy. Right. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that'd be a winner. Which would make Andy the loser this time. Should we ring Andy? Yeah. He just doesn't know it yet. You're much better at talking. You can do it while I'm please, driving, baby. please, Lara. You can't, you've got to do some, some. Brad beat us to it, they got a bike. That's huge. 
unfortunately Brad beat us literally by a few minutes so uh, sounds like they're off to a great start they've got a bike um, we're gonna have to pony up some some big products to catch up to that I think missing out with Suzuki is a blow to Danny's competitive instincts hopeless they are this is why I was saying we need to move but the boys seem to be taking it well well, those types of people, they should have called straight away. That's why I wanted to get to Herman and Herman straight away because I knew that the others would as well. Time for Danny to show the boys how it's done. So we're wondering today, you might be able to help us out. Yes. And in quickly, you get, get the him. Oh my God, what do I do with this? <laughs> Of course we would, absolutely. What would, you, what, what would you like? Barbara, Barbara has been very, very kind. Very generous. And she's um, donated the Yoda indoor chair and the little people screen. We're off to a good yeah. start. I think the nine looks very happy in here. Sounds like very happy. <laughs> an $1,100 chair plus an $1,800 screen equals a huge start for Dan and Danny. Andrew, it's Dan. How are you, mate? Good, bad. How are you going? Yeah, some great news. We've had a win here, mate. It's fantastic. That's great news, mate. We're just rolling up to the MCG, oh. so I'll let you know how we go down here. We'll stay in touch, eh? All right. Thanks, mate. You may be finding a new home right now, buddy. The brothers are hoping they'll score a win for Father Let's Bob's go. charity yeah. at Melbourne's biggest place of worship. We thought we'd start the day by heading down to the MCG. It's kind of, you know, the mecca of Melbourne and... Uh, Thought we'd try our luck. Is there someone in your marketing department I could speak to? No, I don't. No, Nick, Nick, thank you. Unfortunately, we didn't get greeted by the warm reception we were hoping for, and um, <laughs> we got promptly escorted out of the building. Out for a duck. Coming up, really gorgeous. <laughs> Brad and Lara score a gnome goal. How good is that? To relive all of tonight's action and go behind the scenes, head to 9msn.com.au forward slash the block. You can also download the new block app for your iPhone or iPad. So you can keep the block in your pocket wherever you go. Paired off into two teams, the whole gang are trading these gorgeous little gnomes for stuff to auction for charity. The team who raised the most at tomorrow night's auction will share five grand in prize money. And boy, doesn't everyone need the cash right now. As of this week, no one's got... No one's got money anymore. So you could chuck him in your front window and people would know you're a great bloke and... In team one, we've got Dale and Sophie and Brad and Lara. Former first grade rugby league player Brad gets on the phone to a sports contact and kicks a soccer goal. He goes, obviously you want something that money can't buy. Like, because he said, we can just give you tickets. Like he said, we play the victory next week's biggest game in Melbourne. Yep. He said, but anyone can do that. Yeah. He said, we can probably get, well, what about something like, just off the top of my head, dinner, four people, dinner with John Aloisi. If they were handing out medals for memorable moments in Australian sport, this one surely deserves a goal. Here's Aloisi for a place in the you World Cup. For us. He's yeah! scored! And all he goes, because there'd be a lot of people who want to have dinner with John Aloisi. I'm like, I I'll have dinner with John Aloisi. <gasps> to have dinner with a Socceroo player, it's kind of priceless. This is yours to keep, so... Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks very much. We really no appreciate problem. it. Uh... Hopefully we raise a lot of money. Yeah. yeah I'm sure we will. Yeah. I'm sure we have a good dinner, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> money can't buy this, so I think it's a pretty good idea that we came up with. Here's Aloisi. He's yeah! gone! <laughs> <laughs> How good's that? That's hilarious. That's pretty cool. Team 2's Dan and Danny have scored plenty for the Father Bob Maguire Foundation. Out for a duck. But Mike and Andy's big plans have come to nothing. We were hoping to talk to you about the potential of um, offering one of your jet flights. They decide to hit the phones to line up some donors for Team 2's collection. Uh, you guys would be interested in, in providing a luxury car drive day. Straight away, the tactic pays off. 
we love the feather sting. Can we take one of those? You certainly can have one of those. And in exchange, we leave you with a very cool gift. Wonderful, thank you. What is in there? <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> the boys finally make their first trade and there's no looking back. In fact, suddenly people all over Melbourne are going crazy for no. Oh, you get it there, now we are. Thank you. Oh, it's a no, I'm telling you about. Fantastic. Sign cricket bat. Sounds pretty good to me. That sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> okay. And it's called Jelly Bean. Uh -huh. Would you like to take that one? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. We'd love to offer you guys a, one of our own designs, our floor lamp. So, five nights, you reckon you can do? Yeah, that's amazing. And including massages and stuff. <laughs> now you're talking. So, I mean, maybe something like this. Oh, nice. Yeah, beautiful. it's lovely, isn't it? Well, it's a $12,500 armchair. Yeah. Good, expensive taste. Yeah. <laughs> Flight for two in the nudie hot air balloon. With any luck, a few people at the auction will go nuts over this. Yeah, yeah it's going well. We just um, got a helicopter ride out to the Yering Station for four people and lunch. Press City Bath all made a car in. Yep. Um, yeah, retailing for around about 11 grand. You can, can auction it off and uh, get some good money for the, yeah. for the charity. Thank you so much. That's unreal. That is awesome. I love we'll it. Spa suites, two massages a day spa, free breakfast, parking. I think we just uh, found a new home <laughs> for Bob. And this particular work is worth four and a half thousand. Wow. We've got possibly Darren Middleton, the lead guitarist from Powderfinger. Um, have a round of golf with him or something. <laughs> <laughs> how did you do that? Just connections, dude. You know how it rolls. <laughs> Coming up. Holy. Oh. That is the biggest sale of the day. 13 grand? Yep. With just two gnomes left to trade, Dan and Danny head to another of their favourite stores. Smart move. We went into ES Trading and we met Rob and he just thought, he went berserk. How about that one? That is stunning. That, yeah, wow. Six and a half grand he showed us a fridge for and I got pretty excited to be honest. I thought, how good is this? This is going to kill it at auction. Danny twisted Robbo's arm big time. Ended up getting an extra coffee machine and just as we're about to walk off, we also got a microwave. We've got three items at the one store valued at over seven grand. That is the biggest sale of the day. Sorry, Dan. That honour belongs to Team One's master wheeler and dealer, Dale. Rob sent us out here. We spoke to him. Yep. Yeah. A well-cultivated landscape gardening connection helps Dale pull off the trade of the day. Donate this and this and all this. Oh, my goodness. This whole package is worth 13500 and it's yours if you want it. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is so cool. Hello. Hi, Lazzy. Hi, how are you going? Yeah, good. We're out here with these legends at Rob Cousins Furniture. Yeah. In Ringwood, and they're willing to donate 13 grand's worth of outdoor furniture. Holy! Oh. All, right. All right, talk All right. to you later. I, I cannot believe how generous people are being. Like, I know people are generous, but like. 13 grand? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I know. Ridic ridiculous. The team who can raise the most at auction will share five grand prize money. So Dan is hoping to get something special with his last gnome at Collingwood Football Club. Oh. <laughs> we rocked up and still side bottom was dead. So he, he took us around he to, took the, us into the shop. And then it was massive, massive poster yep. with the 2010 All players, signatures, and a group and a shot jumper. and a jumper. Yep. And the medal, grand final it's medal. It's gonna. That's a biggie. Worth two and a half grand, that one is. So, very excited. Wow. To Collingwood players or supporters, priceless. Priceless. Let's put Eddie where he belongs. Yeah. Good spot. Yep, perfect. See you later, Eddie Jr. Bye. You found Eddie a good Jr. home, mate. <laughs> and that was Gnome 10. Gnomeless. A crazy day of trading. 
and both teams have racked up some serious loot for auction. But back at the block, Team 1 has one last no. Brad, I've got a Suzuki for you. Oh, how good's that? And it's getting special attention from the opposition. What is going on here? This is uh, this is the bike I got for the auction, mate. That's nice. Yeah, we beat beat the boys by yes. a couple of minutes. Rang them up. Phone calls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we told the boys ring Suzuki straight away because usually we onto it, and yeah, we just missed out. Spewing. He rang me about one minute after you. One minute. Yeah. So close we were. The bloody boys are too busy doing their hair or, I don't know, having a shower. Sleeping. Mike was probably sleeping. I think the, uh, the classic line, you snooze, you lose. Oh, no, well, hey? they do a lot of that. At the end of a long day running around town, the teams can get back to work at the block. Tomorrow night's auction will bankroll two couples' bid to deliver a winning rooftop. But two couples will come home just as short of cash as they are today. For now, at least, everyone is feeling like a winner. I think, for me, today was the best challenge we've done. It was the most fun I've had because it wasn't physical and it wasn't pressure on building something or... It was exhausting, though. Like, we didn't eat lunch. But it was fun. It was amazing at how much people were willing to give up and all the items were so expensive and things. And it was just... <clears throat> Yeah, unbelievable. We could potentially end up making like, I don't know, say 10 items, average of five grand each, 50 grand or something. Who knows? Tomorrow night. We can't afford it. We won't have any money after this week. <laughs> the block is on the brink of a breakdown. That's the problem, no, Mara. You, you, know, you don't me, understand. Can you tell Stop me about arguing and I'll tell you. Dan's patience finally runs out. Don't talk to me in a condescending tone, Daniel. It's really getting to me. Really getting to me. And the time has come for our nervous teams to face the crowd. Hit the hammer, mate. Oh, it's in pieces.